Have you ever wondered what would a company do if it had a lot of excess cash, cash in its account? One of the things that they can do is share repurchase. Hello friends, this is Ganesh Nayak and I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and I'm back with my capsule video on finance and today I'm going to be talking about an exciting concept in finance which is share repurchase, what exactly it is and how exactly it affects you. A share repurchase is a process or a mechanism in which a company buy back its own share from the marketplace. Why would a company buy back its own share. There can be so many reasons. The first reason being a company is buying back because the management feels that the shares are currently undervalued. Okay. The second reason is the company's management is more optimistic about the company's future and they want to buy back and hold more control over the company. The third reason could be if the company do not foresee any major capital expenditure in the next few quarters and they feel that the cash is going to pile up in their account. So they can utilize this cash either to go for an acquisition or they can repurchase the share value shares from the market. How does a share buyback happens in India? Okay, it happens generally through two major methods. The first is fixed tender offer or secondly through open market op route. First, we're going to talk about the fixed price tender offer. In this method, of buyback, the shares are purchased by the company when a company approaches the shareholder and asks them to sell their share at a fixed price. As the name suggests, these fixed prices are generally higher than the current prevailing market price. Okay, the tender offer is for a specific period in which all the investors who are interested they can sell their share at a at the price already fixed. The open market route. Okay, shares need not necessarily directly bought from an individual shareholders in this method. In this method, the company can directly buy back shares from the open market. Okay, and this is a lengthier process where huge numbers of shares are bought back. Also, the company can decide when to cancel this repurchase program when they decide to do so. What happens when they buy back the shares? Whenever a share buyback program happens, the number of shares outstanding for the company reduces and it has a direct impact on the EPS, which is earning per share. Earning per share is calculated by the total earning of the company divided by the total number of shares outstanding. So if you buy back the shares, the EPS or the earning per share increases for the remaining shares. I hope you like the video. Let me know your comments, your feedback in the comment section of the post. Also, do join our Telegram channel or group, which is going to be there for the ex, uh, going to be there for the finance professionals who wish to grow and enhance in their career. And we'll be coming up with more such informative videos in the in the future. So till then, stay tuned and stay healthy.